I spent the last few days going over a lot of the photographs you don't get on the mainstream news where they show you the sanitized war, smart bombs, and soldiers giving out chocolate to children. And it's what the American troops and the, the British, too, and others are doing over in Afghanistan and Iraq. And it's awfully disgusting, in incredibly disgusting. But at the same time, it's what I expected. I, I knew what was going on because, because they have raised on purpose the generation, the particular generation, to do exactly what they're doing. They created the culture for them. They, they gave them their morality, if you like. Just like Bertrand Russell said they would do from kindergarten onwards. And they also gave them video games. Video games which were designed initially years ago, long before we had the internet, designed for the military alone because it was to desensitize soldiers so they would kill their target without thinking, without even having any idea, really, there's a real human being there that was just a target to kill uh, on impulse, a Pavlovian-type training. And that's why they had the big push many years ago now to give this kind of game-playing uh, role to the children, to bring them up on it, to desensitize them. And now, of course, they're coming out and admitting that in some of the papers, uh, not only admitting it, but telling us we're going to push it further and that the military industrial complex and the governments are behind it because they want a militarized, desensitized next generation to take over and perhaps be even more ruthless because this is to be a hundred years war, like Mr. Rumsfeld said. We should listen to what they say because these characters, in amongst all the lies they give us, will tell us little things, little statements they make where they tell us the true psychopathic truth. And we ignore it because we don't want to hear it. It's the bad news. Now, in that the culture you live in is basically promoted and indoctrinated into you. There's nothing in it that doesn't have a purpose that serves you. Need nothing at all. There's nothing in it whatsoever for you. You're taught to think there is. You're taught to think you just compete with everyone else and you get to the top and nothing is further from the truth. Even your hobbies and the things that you do are promoted to you and your children are indoctrinated from kindergarten onwards and you even buy them the games that they, they demand from you because the advertising industry ensures through your cartoons and all the rest of it, these video games are shown and they'll demand it from you. Uh, everything is highly manipulated. And it, it goes on to tell you that the U.S. military is putting lots and lots of money, lots and lots of money into this. The, and, and so is the American government. So, of course, will be the British, Australian, and every other uh, Commonwealth country government. They're putting money into video games to get the children uh, hooked uh, on a fantasy, a fantasy, and also to train them that, to just kill uh, the enemy target. And when they go over abroad, and no doubt in this game they'll be using uh, the clothing of the, the target that they'll eventually be set against. That's the kind of world we're, we're living in now. And you think, you think you're all free. You think that your children are free. And here you are being indoctrinated and allowing your children not just to be indoctrinated, but to be basically brought up uh, as a, a, a military mentality and a killer mentality. And you think that's okay. It's astounding. It's, it's astounding to me to, to, to know what I know and to read all the old books of how they were going to create, scientifically create, this reality all around us through indoctrination from a very early age and ongoing indoctrination through television for the adults and has it ever been successful because the average person 
is so out of touch, so incredibly out of touch with the only true reality there is, uh, that it's a different world altogether. They cannot tell fact from fiction anymore. And most people have watched so many gory movies and, and blood movies and guts movies put out by Hollywood. And Hollywood itself has admitted a few years ago they were getting massive funding from the Pentagon to put these war movies out, by the way. You cannot be entertained today and enjoy it. Uh, if you if you watch any of these movies, you have to sit and analyze them. As soon as you identify with the characters, you've lost it and you're being indoctrinated. You're being you're, you're downloading into you. That's what's happening. And people today, as I say, have no idea what's really going on. They hear the sanitized, sterilized stuff that comes across the mainstream news, and they they haven't seen uh, their heroes over there booting children booting them uh, as they come out of houses because they're not going fast enough and, and knocking them to the ground or, or hitting them with their rifle butts and that kind of stuff. Uh, they, they don't see that. It's all, it's all sanitized news you get. So they think everything is, is some, some, some sort of big Hollywood production with John Wayne in it where everyone has 1950s morality or something. And even that was all fake because, again, it was Hollywood. But that's what they've done. They've given uh, the, the adult generation that's got the children uh, a completely fake reality. And they're actually training your children to go up and grow up to be soldiers. Soldiers who will fight for a cause that they won't even care about. They won't care why about anything. They just want to wear that uniform and be like the warriors in the Star Wars movies. You know, faceless, armor-clad beings, just numbers they do what they're told and, and, and shoot and kill. That, that's the unfortunate part of it. And not to, not to stop there, the suicide rate within the army is, is shot up, and it's three times higher uh, than the, than the, the 6,000 dollars per year, they're telling you. And that's not attempted, that's suicide. That's successful. Now, another report's just come out where they've talked about autopsies on the brains of a lot of these troops. And they found the frontal lobe part of the brain has shrunk. My, 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 what would cause that? And so the experts are stumped. They think, oh, it could be Gulf War, this mysterious Gulf War syndrome or something. And they forget all about the testing even as far back in Vietnam and repeated in Jane's magazine and others since then, the official military equipment magazine, on the Pentagon's desire and striving towards the super soldier through chemical means, eventually becoming cyborg, but first through chemicals. And before we go into callers, I'm just going to read a little bit more from this article that I was reading from. And it says, and this game is having an impact. America's army has consistently been rated by GameSpy in the global top 20 most popular online games with thousands of players logged on around the clock. The online gaming world dominated by products such as Quake and Half-Life, America's Army rates as a strong contender with 24 updates to the PC version released. It goes on and on and on. It says here that um, it, it tells you right here, it says this is just a game, it's a propaganda tool. It says, well, it may rate up there with the best in gaming. America's Army is not an exercise in largesse towards the gaming community. It's essentially a propaganda tool funded to the tune, listen to this, of more than $10 million U.S. of taxpayers' money, it says here, designed to attract young people to military life. Hmm? Attract, no, this is to condition them into going, just like uh, Manchurian Candidate, there'll be buzzwords, etc. in those games, and they'll hear the recruiters use them, and then they'll go. So the U.S. Army spends an estimated $5 million annual to support the game. A drop, that's just to support it, that's not just to create it, $10 million initially. A drop in the U.S. $583 million ocean of the Army's recruitment advertising budget last year. But the modest expense is reaping big dividends with 28% of players clicking through the U.S. Army's recruitment site and about 40% of the new U.S. Army recruits in 2005, having played the game before signing up. 
And of course you think advertising indoctrination doesn't work, eh? You're too clever for that. It won't affect you, will it? So people should look into it, into this particular article. I'll put it up on my site. And read it for yourself. Uh, unfortunately, most people have little memory today. They can't retain too much. And after they've read it, they'll be shocked. And then, then they'll forget it and watch the sports or watch military tanks coming up. Young Street in Toronto with a cup on commemoration of some some team that won some game somewhere because he's 